so again, when you're living in a culture where people make four bucks a day, maybe it, it opens your eyes. And I remember being struck by how normal everything to my colleagues, my really well-educated Chinese colleagues with masters and PhDs, you know, they thought nothing of, um, they didn't feel limited. They didn't feel censored or it, it was really interesting. Um, they were so proud of their country. And the positive thing about my own experience with abuse was it sort of, it allows me to empathize and truly kind of feel the pain um, others experience in marginalized or, you know, kind of abusive situations. But the great majority of women um, that I got to know and that we worked with, um, maybe their family had sold them into the trade. Uh, maybe they had been encouraged or pressured by their families in very rural areas to come to the city and find work and do whatever it took. You know, and as a mom, if your kids can't eat, I just can't imagine how hard it would be, you know, to find your way. And so we serve uh, refugees, we serve women at risk, we serve people coming um, out of prison, we serve uh, homeless individuals, we serve really anyone that has a barrier to employment. And we do that through the lens of a food production model. And when you hear the stories of really any number of the refugees um, who resettle in the United States or any other country around the world for that matter, truly, um, again, as a person who's lived with mostly what I need, my, my whole upbringing, you just cannot fathom um, having had family members killed in front of you or, you know, having, you know, experienced rape and abuse just for years and years and years on end, or fathom is really about unleashing human potential for meaningful impact. And we really believe in this idea of deep human experiences. And so we say that fathom experiences are kind of travel deep experiences. Mm -hmm. um, and they're really about helping people connect um, helping people more deeply unite and sort of inspiring them to be part of something that's bigger. And so we had people on board with us that first week. We offered trips that hadn't been back since they left as babies or wow. young, young children. And, you know, they were able to walk off the ship into uh, Old Havana and go find their birth homes for no the way. first time, you know, entire adult life. And so 